Hey guys, Rick Preston is here, back from another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this feature kind of sound drop of his new unreleased track, Dancing. So, the final result will sound like this. So, if you want these presets and furthermore other presets in the style of Tag House to make future kind of sound music, Make sure to check Dirty Tag for one in the link down below. In our perspective, you'll find all the sounds you need to make this kind of music. All the sounds we use in this video are coming from the pack. So now let's dive into the sounds. First of all, we have the kick with the drum loop. Drum loop is from the pack as well, so you will find it there. So first we're gonna make the bass line. So for us the A we're gonna use Saw Wave, Free Unisense, one octave down. Exactly like that. Then as another B, we're gonna use the sine wave. One octave down as well. Then we're gonna shape the filter, low 24. With some drive. And cut off all the way down. Then I'm gonna shape envelope one like this. And right to the cutoff. And a little bit of sustain to add some more sub to the add some more bottom to the sound. Then we're going to shape it with some hyperdimension. Some tube distortion. Some soft clip. So we'll bring out some more of the high split sounds. Then some OTT compre some OTT compression. With the highest all the way down. And then the main key of the bass line, the phaser. So we have to search for the sweet spot, for the frequencies. And then drag the master down to just one here. Then the last thing we want to do is add some more punch to baseline, so shape and flow free like this. And right to the master tuning. As you can hear this, we really add some more punch to the sound. And that's it for the bass line, so now we're gonna make the lead sound. Sounding like this. So we're gonna stack in a preset. We're going for two saw waves. Oscar A, two octaves down, Oscar B, one octave down. Then we go for the bomb pass filter. As can hear, this really shaped the sound a lot. Like the final result, with some drive, a little bit more resonance. Here we're already getting close to the sound. Add some portamento. Then we're gonna add some noise. Going for the J60 with a pitch all the way up. And the level quite low because we're gonna bring it out with distortion in effects. So the real key to the sound is the sinefold distortion. The snare does really open up, open up the sound a bit more. Just like this. Then some more hyperdimension. Add some phaser as well. With the feet a little bit down, same for the frequency and mix, and then add some more covers to it. And the low pass filter all the way up, the mix are quite low. And we're gonna boost the highest a little bit more with the EQ. Again, we're gonna search for the sweet spot. Something around here. There's some delay. Just a small amount. And some reverb. With f 2 to the mix. So the reverb's only playing where there aren't any notes playing. So as you can hear, as the sound ends, the reverb will open up. And that's it for the lead. So 
all the elements together sound like this. And that's it for and that's it for the feature kind of sound drop. So if you like the video, please leave a like and see more in the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next videos.